I'm Amber Mack at DX3 for the Canadian Tech Spotlight, and I'm here with the founder of Oberbon. Thanks for being here. Hi, very nice to see you. So, for people who don't know what your company does, can you explain it? Well, we're a fintech platform. Uh, we service uh, institutional capital markets. Uh, it's like a digital investment banker, really. So, we help uh, uh, parties connect uh, for the sake of raising money in the bond market. Now we've seen over the past couple of years in the fintech market that there are a number of new startups that are exploding right now. It's a pretty competitive industry. How do you guys set yourselves apart? It's interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of fintech startups, um, but um, the space is uh, multiplexed, if you will, and a lot of them so far focused on the retail kind of consumer facing apps. Uh, in the retail banking, uh, we've seen uh, also more apps in um, kind of SMBs, the small and medium business. Um, uh, we focus on capital markets, and, and there I think there's a lot of untapped potential still, so quite unique in that space. What, else, what was it about those markets that made you want to go after them, that space? What interests you about that? Well, as it usually happens, it's the mix of the eclectic jobs I've had in capital markets, both on Bay Street and Wall Street. So. There was some prior experience. Uh, that said, it helped me identify the opportunity and the need. Um, specifically in the investment banking, uh, it was so far mostly kind of a pen and paper process. And for us, uh, that's a real opportunity. Now, as you grow and expand the company, what do you think it is that's going to continue to help you have that competitive edge? We need to apply uh, a lot of um, uh, data algorithms. We've uh, struck a global partnership with Thomson Reuters to feed a real-time APIs. For capital markets, data is very important. Um, and not just the volume of data, but the real-time speed and nature of it, because the reacting to it is um, It's uh, interesting that you talk about partnerships, because I know I was recently at a FinTech event, and it was all about, one of the panels was all about partnerships, and saying that there was a time in FinTech where people really saw each other as competitors, but more and more, many companies are seeing partnerships as the way to continue to grow in the future. Would you share that sentiment? I would. I mean, especially in capital markets, the, uh, the functioning of the entire market is actually quite interwoven, both from the ge geography perspective, it's mostly global, so you got, you know, Europe can affect US and Korean markets easily on any given day. And then from the infrastructure perspective, because we utilize infrastructure that it's uh, often commonly shared. So as a tech provider and a, a provider to multiple clients, partnerships just make sense. Now, uh, we are, of course, at the Canadian Tech Spotlight at DX3. We're talking to a lot of Canadian startups. Do you think there's an advantage in terms of being in Canada and building a company? I think so. I mean, I moved back from New York uh, to found over, uh, to you know start Overbond in Toronto. Uh, from the talent perspective, I think uh, there's great things happening at uh, Canadian universities. I think we have a lot of quality accelerators. I think um, uh, also uh, there's kind of thought leadership in Canada, uh, both an academic and entrepreneurial side that all kind of mesh together and we tap into that daily. So for people who want to get more information and keep up to date as you grow this venture, where's the best place for them to go online? Uh, www.overbond.com. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. And good luck.